I finish up our drawing project by labeling it. So I went ahead and drew a butterfly and painted it, which is probably a little different than the one you drew. Um, and I realized when I was labeling it, I had to add some stuff like the proboscis. So we are going to look at the book to see what we need to label. So I know we need to label the scales, which that's what makes all the beautiful colors of the butterfly wing. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to label the scales and you can label it with me. So I'm going to type it. And then I'm going to draw me a little line. So there are our scales. And then we need to label. Let's look at the next thing we need to label. The filler or the antenna and the head. So let's see. I'm going to tap head right here. And... And then we're gonna do a little line. And then we're gonna do a little line right here. And we're gonna do our feeler next. So let's type antenna or feeler, which is the same name. Okay, so we've got our antenna and we need to do our wings, don't we? So we know how to do wings. That's like, we know what that is. And we're done with wings. So you should have your antenna, your head, your scales, and your wings labeled. Um, and then let's label right here. This is our, let's check, I believe that's our abdomen. And then our thorax is the middle of the butterfly's body. So, so let me go back and check again abdomen. That way I remember how to spell it because that is a hard word. I would definitely have to check that if I was in first grade. So we have abdomen and I'm going to make my line a little bit longer. For thorax, it's all the way up here and it's the middle of the butterfly's body. So I'm going to tap thorax right here. And of course, we would want to take our sticky notes and add some facts like a did you know, a an interesting fact. Did I miss anything? Let's go back and check. We have our abdomen, our scales, our wing, our head, our thorax. And I didn't draw any legs, but we would know that if we saw a butterfly. Oh, I forgot to draw the proboscis in my original drawing. But when I was doing my drawing, I added on. So I'm going to show you my final drawing to give you an idea of what you would want yours to try and look like. So on my final drawing, I had to add a little curly Q there for my proboscis. And then I added some facts. Like the antenna is for touch or smell. Then come down here and I added another fact about the butterfly and its proboscis. I wrote that I learned the scales of the wings make up all the different colors. Like, I did not know that originally. I've never heard them called scales. And then I wrote a did you know. Did you know monarch butterflies can fly 100 miles in one day? I just thought that was so neat that something so little could fly so far. So, I've labeled all my parts. And I wrote one, two, three, four facts on my little poster. I hope you have added it. And if you need to, you can pause this video anywhere you want to learn how to spell this stuff or to add on to your drawing. And just so you know, this is an adult's work. So I wanted to show you my son Isaac's work because he's in first grade just like you. So this is Isaac's work. And we did a sketch of his butterfly. I used tracing paper to help him. So you can do that too. And then he labeled his. And he even put his head is for looking. I guess you do use your head for looking. So you see he labeled his parts. And then he's got to put some periods at the end. So you need to go back and check for punctuation. I'm very proud of all your hard work. And I can't wait to see all your beautiful posters and drawings. 
I hope you really enjoyed the butterflies and I will continue posting videos of the butterflies as well, the caterpillars as they grow into butterflies. I want you guys to go out and have lots of fun today. Be sure that you're not working so hard that you forget to go outside and play. It's beautiful. Have a great day. I love and miss all of you.